y'all. It's Joe. Hey y'all. Guess what? Oops, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. I made another what I'm calling a granny top tea. And um let's see. My last well, the first one I made right here this little number came out too big, if y'all recall, but it's okay because I put a little cinch right here and it even looks okay without the cinch, you know, it's just a more bigger, loosier, loosier, is that a, is that a word? Anyway, <laughs> bigger, looser top. And then I made the black one, which I think fits just about perfectly. And um, I showed y'all that one in the last video. And now this one. Let's see. Let me let me do that and I'll stand up on my little stool here. Ugh. Okay, there we go. And it's I think I, I told y'all when I did the video for the black one, I told y'all I had started another one before this one. This is it. So this was actually the second one I started. But, um, I was giving it way too much, uh, credence, I guess, that because it was a bigger yarn and a stretchy yarn, well, not with that, but, you know, it's a stretchy yarn because it's acrylic. It's a cotton acrylic blend. But, um, so anyway, I made it too small. It was like hugging all the the rolls and the lumps and the bumps. So, so I, and I had finished it y'all. So I ripped it all the way back up to here and I added on, I added on a good uh, 10 granny uh, stitches. So, you know, I added on about, I don't know, six inches of ease. And now it, it does fine. Now I'm, I'm happy with it now. It could be a little looser even, but it's not, you know, tight or hugging by any means. I don't want to fall off this little stool. So here's the back. I'm trying to decide if I like the back or the front better. Well, I can wear it either way, right? <laughs> it's totally reversible. <laughs> I can wear it either way. But, um, whew, bad knee. <laughs> So, yeah, I really think this is adorable. It's very thick and hot. So, I really don't know. And this is like a spring-summer colorway in my mind. So, I really don't know if I would wear this in the fall because I think it's just too. But maybe I will. Who knows? Um, so, this was made with Lion Brand ice cream cotton blend. It's a size four. And this colorway is called strawberry fras, fra, phrases, frazies, frases, strawberry something or another. It was a Hobby Lobby clearance yarn. I don't think, not this pat, not this year, but the year before, I think is when I got this at Hobby Lobby clearance. Um, and I meant to keep track of how many I used and I didn't. Sorry. I think, I'm guessing it was probably five. That's my guess. I used five. These have, um, 225 yards each. So that probably sounds about right with the yardage for something like this, right? Yeah, I think so. So I think, yeah. But anyway, um, and I really, I think it's just totally cute. Now, um, if you didn't see the other two videos, I'll briefly explain how this was done. Um, you take two squares, see this square here, and this square here, 
and then you'd get two half squares and you put one here. This is a half square and you line up, you do the same amount of rows, you line it up and then you put the other half square on the back or on the other side, cause it can be front or back. <laughs> and, um, and then you connect them. Oh, here I go again. You connect them. Ugh. And I did a little, a little band of a different stitch here. And then I started going in the round, back and forth. Or no, I actually went like this, but I did, I do have a seam. I think the seam is in the back somewhere. If you can see it, I don't know. But there's, um, yeah, so when I got to the end, you know, I slip stitch and went up and started the next row. Cause I didn't want, you know, being a, an amigurumi you do just tend to go spiral, right? But you always end up with a little, a little slant and that wouldn't be good for a garment. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure it stayed even and level every row. Um, so that's what I did. And um, yes, I do want to make another one, <laughs> but I haven't started another one yet. So we'll see. I might try to make, um, something more for fall with some sleeves on it, something more, you know, closed instead of, you know, lacy. If you call this lacy, I guess, because it's got the holes in it. Um, yeah, so there we go. There's my new um, top inspired by Kristen Omdahl um, because I saw a picture of her wearing something similar to this, which was, this top part here, but on the bottom, she made hers more like a, a festival, like a crop top with fringe and stuff, and it was adorable, but this big mama can't get away with wearing stuff like that. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I would. I would. You may have noticed new glasses, and yeah, they're pink, y'all. I love them. But um, it's been two years since I um, last got my other glasses, my prescription, and these are a bit stronger. And I'm finding that when I don't have them on, I, I'm getting dizzy, I get headaches, uh, everything's kind of blurry. So um, I'm gonna try to start wearing my glasses in the videos. I wasn't wearing them before because of all this reflection. So I was kind of trying to angle my lights or put them in a different way where they weren't like spot on in my face. So I'm hoping this works. Oh well, it is what it is, right? <laughs> I can still see. Like when I turn this way, I can see that. <laughs> anyway, um, I got a little mail. Um, Y'all know a bunch of our um, crochet YouTubers just recently went on a cruise. So exciting. Billy the Crafty Floridian put that together and she also put together the um, Sarasota trip that a bunch of us went on. Is that in 2021? So in 21, we went to Sarasota in the fall. And um, so this year, Oh, I guess we didn't do anything in 22, huh? Am I thinking that right? <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. It's been so, it's been crazy. Um, yeah, we didn't do anything in 22. Or she didn't do anything in 22. Um, which was, oh, you know, I was too busy taking care of my mother anyway. To go anywhere or do anything. Which is why I did not sign up for this cruise that they went on just recently. Um, because I didn't think... Well, I didn't know that my mother was going to pass, but so soon. Um, but, um, yeah, just not, you know, up for it. Just too much going on. But um, I'm hoping maybe, you know, in the fall or maybe next spring to be able to do something with the girls if they want to plan a little something. 
Um, I would love to meet some of y'all out on a little vacay. That would be fun. Um, anyway, all that to say is that I ordered one of the uh, t-shirts from Nancy with She's Got Yarn Too. She was like in charge of the t-shirts for the it, the cruise, they they called it Hookers on the High Seas. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, um, I ordered a t-shirt from Nancy. So let's see. And, oh yeah. Oh look, she got me a little card here. Let's see what it says. It's a thank you card. Thank you. I love you. I love you, Nancy. Bunches, too. And, oh, look. Look what she sent me. This little keychain with a sea turtle on it and an anchor. Cute. Oh, look. It's a spinner. Pew, pew. <laughs> That's so cute. Thanks, Nancy. Okay. Oh, this is, I forgot about this. I also said, sure, I want one of your work shirts. I got a door Myers. Door Myers doors and windows. <laughs> this is her business, her and her husband have in Florida. So, <laughs> I love it. Now I can come to work for you, Nancy. <laughs> okay, so here's the hookers on the high C shirt. <laughs> so funny. I wonder what people are going to think when I wear this. Oh, I love this color blue. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. Hookers on the high seas. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Nancy, for sending that to me. My two, my two new shirts and the cute little keychain. She's on vacation now, y'all. Have you been watching her channel? They just took the baby, the little, is it Labradoodle? What? I think that's what it is. Anyway, her little black floofy puppy that they just got, that she's not allowed to love on too much because, because Daddy Dormeyer says it's his dog. <laughs> so um, I'll link her down below if you want to go see. She started, she showed a couple of uh, videos. They're on vacay right now. Um, they went to, they stopped in Atlanta and then, and then Tennessee. So, um, we'll see where they head next. <laughs> um, okay. So that was it for that. But I wanted to, I wanted to also, um, tell y'all that, um, another, I want to talk about another new person that I've been watching on YouTube, new to me. And, um, that is Caroline for the love of crochet. She is so super de duper sweet, y'all. I guess you probably heard my AC cut off. I usually don't let it run while I make while I'm filming, but it's too hot. Um, so she uh, loves to do amigurumis, and she makes the cutest, most precious like dolls. And she she is super talented. And she talked about in her last video that she had this book here called Little Happy Circus. And, um, oh, and she showed that she made the, the bear, right? The bear, she made the bear. Well, look at that elephant, y'all. Oh my gosh. Is that not so precious and adorable? Uh, Lynette. The Charm Grammy Crochet, she would love that elephant. Oh, do you have that book, Lynette? Mm, so adorbsible. So let me show y'all. I'm just scrolling here on, on the Amazon. There's the bear. And there's some other, it's, you know, it's like circus people. There's a ballerina and there's the horse. So she talked about that she wanted to make the horse next. And I'm like, so I wrote her, I'm like, I'm ordering that book because I want to make a horse. Y'all, I bought a Bronco Sport. 
been almost two years now I've been having that. Wow. And, um, uh oh, what did I do? And, um, I've been wanting to make a horse ever since I bought it. And of course I haven't, it's just been haywire. So, although this isn't the actual, t oh, look at the, is that a lion or a tiger? I guess it could be either. If you're going to put stripes on it and make it a tiger, it looks like a lion though. So I wanted to make, I've been wanting to make a horse and although this isn't like a Bronco <laughs> horse, you know, it's not a Bronco by any means. <laughs> um, I still think it's absolutely adorable. So I want to make one. I might even just let him ride in my back seat with me all the time. <laughs> I could buckle him in. <laughs> um, if I made him with blanket yarn, he would really be big enough to buckle in. <laughs> so, yeah, so I ordered that book and hopefully I will get it tomorrow. Hopefully. You know, when you look up tracking now, it doesn't give you a specific day that you're going to get it anymore. It used to tell you, you know, will be delivered, you know, on such and such day. Well, now it just gives you like a week. It says between this and this. And then when I try to look up like specifics on it, like I, like I did before I got on here, it said it was in New Orleans. So that's a lot closer to me. So, um, hopefully I'm hoping that I'm going to get it tomorrow. Um, or at least by Tuesday. And then I'll start on the horse, Caroline, if you watch me. So she's really sweet, y'all. Oh, she's got the most beautiful long hair and the sweetest little dimples. Big dimples. She's got big dimples. Not like a little one-sided dimple thing like I have. So <laughs> she's adorable. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to tell y'all about that and show you that book. I'll show it to you when it when I when it comes in. And here's Caroline's um, YouTube channel right here. Look at this. You can see the bear right there. And she's just adorable. Y'all go check her out. So thanks y'all for sticking around for Joe's Web number 97. And